hello everyone we will continue the topic debugging and in the previous videos we started with the script tab of sap debugger and we covered yes how you can stop sap debugger using the script tab on selection of tables we have chosen the we have chosen the dedicated script and after that, it is very, very easy to reach up to a dedicated table. Now we will proceed further. And now we will learn how to use or how to use script tab to for updation of database table. Updation of database table means we will go for insert, delete, update, modify. You all know these all are database operations and extremely, extremely useful because in the real projects, suppose I will go to MM01. I want to check where SAP is inserting the data to Mara table, where SAP is inserting the data to MAKT table. Suppose I'm going for creation of a sales order. So we want to check where SAP has written the code to insert the data to VBAK table for VBAP table. So at that time, the script tab is very, very useful. It will help you to reach up to the dedicated code in very less span of time. So what we will do, I will go for the practical part or demo part. I will go to MM01 transaction code. Now you all know you can create a material through MM01 transaction code. Suppose I will choose the industry sector pharmaceuticals. I will choose the material type raw material suppose. You can choose any industry sector or material type. I am going for basic data one. I'm going for some description, suppose test. I will go for unit of measurement. Whenever we will go for save, material will create and data will insert into the Mara, MAKT or whatever the other tables are there. Now, suppose I want to check where SAP is inserting, where SAP has written the logic to update these database tables. Suppose if you don't know script tab that you can use script tab for the same, how we were doing. Suppose I will simply, simply go to debugging mode slash H. I will say system will enter into the debugging mode and we will put a breakpoint on statement because we are going for a perception that we don't know script tab. Then how we were doing previously or how we will reach up to the dedicated code. I'll just wait. One system enters into the debugging mode. I think system is slow today, yes. And then I will show you how we can go for script tab to check the updation of database tables. Now, system entered into the debugging. I will go for breakpoints. Breakpoint at statement. You all know if system inserted the data to the table. So we have the database operation insert. Now I will write insert DB tab. Now people will think why I put DB tab. DB tab means database table. Why I am specifically writing DB tab because insert is internal table operation also. Because if you will not specify DB tab, so system will stop on to insert internal table operation also. But that is not our target. Unnecessary, we need to do F8, F8 to skip that part. So now you all know. We have database operation modify also, which is used to insert the data because modify acts as both insert and update. I will write DB tab. So it is good if you are specifying DB tab. So system will take the database table into consideration because anyways, we are checking updation of database table. If you do not specify, no problem. 
but unnecessary system is stop on to insert internal table operation and modify internal table operation also. Now I will go for okay. Now I will go for extremely, extremely important point. Suppose whenever I'm receiving the query out of 10, suppose nine queries are based upon this only. Now what people will do, they will say they are unable to find the code where SAP has written the code to update the database table. Suppose they are going to VA01, MM01, FFFB01, and they are saying they have put the breakpoint on this particular statement, but they are not able to find where SAP has written the code. Just simple, simple understanding. We all know we have update task, update task. What is update task? update whatever the code is written in the update task it always always triggers at the last it always triggers at the last and you all know whenever you want to debug the code of update task you need to own the update debugging see this is our normal debugging this is the common practice which sap is always following SAP is updating the database tables at the last, at the last in the update task. If some logic is written in the update task, how, how you can debug or how you can reach by normal debugging, you need to own the update debugging. Forget about we know script tab or we not, we know putting the breakpoints on the keywords. But it is mandatory whenever you want to check the updation of database tables in any SAP transaction code, do not forget to own the update debugging. Whenever you want to check the updation of database table, because this is the common practice which SAP is following, all database tables will be updated together at the last simple example. The data will go into VBAK, VBAP, VBKD, all tables together. It is not the case that data will go to VBAK, then go to VBAP, nothing. All data will be at the last. And this is this is well also. All database table must be, must be updated together. And anyways, we have a dedicated topic update function module in the additional ABAP concept playlist. If you want more detailed understanding on update tasks, you can refer those videos also. So please, please never forget to own the update debugging. Whenever you want to check where SAP has written the code to update the database table, because SAP is updating the database table in the update task and update task. If you want to debug the code, which is written in the update task or update function module, you need to own the update debugging. So how to own the update debugging settings. I will go for change debugger profile slash settings. We have a checkbox update debugging. Now suppose for the best understanding, I will show. We already put the breakpoint on the insert and modify DB tab. Now suppose I'm doing F8. I'm doing F8. Have you seen system will simply create the material. You put the breakpoint on the insert DB tab and up modify DB tab but system is not stopping because system has written the logic in the update task. If you want to check in the debugging mode, you should own the update debugging. Maximum time I'm receiving this kind of query. So this is the solution for the same. So what I will do now, I will show you by on the update debugging. Anyways, as of now, we are not even reached up to this script tab. We're just going for important points. I will go for basic data one. Suppose I will go for description. Unit of measurement. I will go for slash H. Debugging switch on. Now I will go for save. 
now i will on the update debugging and you will realize now system will show me yes where sap is doing where sap has written the logic and this is a common practice which sap followed in maximum maximum transaction codes then we will go for script tab after that i'll just wait one system enters into the debugging mode And in additional ABAP concept playlist, I there are dedicated videos on update task, update function module, update debugging. You can go for that playlist. I will go for breakpoint. Breakpoint at statement. I will go for insert, modify. Now, do not forget to on the update debugging so that we can debug the code which SAP has written in the update function modules or update task. Just save this update debugging. Anyways, we'll remove this checkbox later. Now I will do F8. Now you can see material created, material is there. Now the update debugging triggered. Now system will again enter into that debugging mode. Just wait, system will again enter into the debugging mode. And there we will get the logic to, uh, we will get the logic which SAP has written to update the database tables. We'll just wait. System is slow today, yes. Update debugging has been triggered. Now you can see system entered into the debugging mode. Now I will put the breakpoint. Insert DB tab, modify DB tab. Because once system enter into the debugging mode, previous breakpoints will not be there. Now I am doing F8. Now you can see we are able to see the code. SAP has inserted the values to Mara table. I will do F8. SAP has inserted the data to this table. SAP has inserted the data to MAKT table. MARM table. This MOFF table. So this is the way how you can check. So in this video, I showed you if you don't know script tab, just see. One by one, we are going to each and every table to check where SAP has written the code. But if we know the script tab, we can directly, directly move to that particular table. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important video because I'm receiving lots of queries that people are saying they are, they, they are not able to check the code where SAP has written the code to update the database tables. See, SAP is following a common practice. SAP is always updating the tables at the last once everything goes fine. So SAP is using the update task to update the database tables and update task triggers at the last after the commit one. Now in normal debugging, you cannot debug the code which is written in the update task. So you need to own the update debugging. So at that point of time, I showed you, yes, firstly, I created the material. I put the breakpoint. I'm not able to reach up to the solution to the statements. Then I own the update debugging. Firstly, we get a message. Update debugging has been triggered. Then system will again enter into the debugging mode and we will be able to see this code. This is one way. But if we know SAP script, we can effectively reach up to the solution. In the next video, I will show you rather than putting the breakpoints on the statements, how, how we can use the script for the updation of database tables. So that's it in this video. Thank you.